My name is Dr. Adelisi Otunga. As usual, and we are here again for another edition of what is trending as in Christ Jesus. Okay. So, sir, can God intervene in things we do contrary to His will? Yes, God is God of all flesh. According to the book of Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27, it says God is God of all flesh. And for the fact that He is God of all flesh, He wants to remain God over all situations. Even if it's contrary to His will or according to His will. I will start from the foundation of the world. When Adam sinned, God did not run away from Adam, he ran after Adam. He wanted to be sure that Adam knew what he was doing and wanted to confirm if Adam was still going to continue or insist on doing something, things contrary to his will. So he called him and Adam said, yeah, yeah. And he asked him, why are you hiding away from me? Adam said, because I have sinned against you, I have done something contrary to your will. And for that reason, God gave them some decrees which everyone is now a particular of today. Then thereafter, God did not leave them. If you read the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 21, it makes us to understand that God had to walk out redemption for their soul. He didn't want them to perish. So he had to, he had to slaughter, he had to shed blood of an animal and clothe them with the skin of that animal. Meaning that, despite the fact that Adam and Eve did um, something contrary to his will, he didn't just forsake them. He still had concern for their lives and he intervened in their situation. He, redeemed, he, he tried his best to redeem them from the consequence of their wrongdoing. No wonder the Bible tells us in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. It says that, God is not slow, he's not slacking in fulfilling his promise. That is, in closing the chapter of this world. But he's just doing something. He is slow and steady. He does not want anyone to perish without knowing what that person is doing. God wants every one of us to come to repentance. He's always working out our repentance. He had to leave the, all the riches of the, of the heaven. And he came to this world so that even those that are doing things contrary to his will should benefit from what he did on the cross of Calvary. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 8 that he loved us while we were yet sinners. If God does not intervene in the matters of those that are doing contrary to his will, he wouldn't have loved us while we were yet sinners. He would have preferred to deal with the just alone. But because it is not his will that anyone should perish. Though God is angry with the wicked every day. But we have to understand that a wicked man is that man that has insisted on doing evil. Insisted on walking contrary to the will of God. God gives everyone second chance. No matter what you have, no matter how bad that thing is, he gives a second chance. And that is where uh, repentance comes in. Repentance is simply the grace of second chance. When you have done something wrong and God wants to bring you back, He allows you to uh, say you are no more doing it, to have that determination. And once you have that determination, He cancels out all the wrong doings that you have partaken in and He opens a new chapter for you so that you can benefit from His work of salvation. As they say, that's just to tell us that He is intervening in situations that are even contrary to his will. 